What's going on, everyone? All right, we're back with some more Trails to Azure. It's your boy, Top Cat the Gamer. We're going to get right back into it. Uh, so I accidentally ended up doing this. Uh, we were, I was trying to look for a new, if there was new armor or anything, and I ended up running into Dudley. Um, but apparently there's a little scene that happens here. If you uh, talk to Dudley here, I'm guessing this is where you get some bonding points for him. But, uh, we'll just continue on with what we were doing. So the guy says, here are your shoes you ordered, Mr. Dudley. Thank you, Hanson, my good man. I'd like to try them out right away. And what do you think you're doing here, SSS? Uh, well, we were going to ask you the same thing. Those kicks look pretty, pretty costly. Yeah, pretty, pretty costly. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, um, you special order shoes. What brand are they from? I'll thank you not to lump me in with those logo chasing imbeciles. These are custom made. Wow, you're a tough customer to please. You get your loafers made to order? I just buy whatever's affordable. <laughs> and exactly what nonsense are you trying to squeak out, Bannings? Huh? You sound as though you're suggesting that handmade... Uh, <laughs> or <laughs> Man, this dude right here is tripping. Handmade uh, artisanal? Art art artisanal? Artisanal leather shoes are frivolous. Well, that's where you're wrong, Junior. I never said that. <laughs> leather shoes are more complex and profound than a rookie like you could ever comprehend. Uh, dude was not making fun of your shoes, bro. The more you wear them, the more they conform uh, to the shape of your feet. The deep, the deeper their rich texture becomes. Only a fool would imply such harmony and bliss could be even remotely attained via bargain bin footwear. This feels needlessly over <laughs> traumatized, for real. I've never seen Detective Dudley so passionate about anything outside of work. My apologies for the tangent. Returning to the original topic at hand, I'm here to uh, I'm here on a well-deserved break, and I'd like to enjoy it before I have to uh, get my next engagement. Get to my next engage. Yeah, get to my next engagement. So make please make yourself scarce. Okay, all right. Dude, this is ridiculous. Like, bro, was he j just asking a question? Okay, it doesn't look like the armor and stuff has really changed. I was just double checking. I do need to still get these things over here. Yeah. <sighs> I guess I better start at some point. Uh, I'm eventually going to have to get them anyway. So, I'm trying to see here. 3,000. That's not too bad. Probably get a little more from the little bits of these. I try to keep it even number. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna need about hell, I forgot how much it was now. About seven to eight thousand. Let me see how much I get. Yeah, 9,000 from this. Ah, oh, damn, you know what I should have done? I should have did it at the bank. I could have got more. So about 11,000. Yeah. I'm going to do it. it. Sucks, but I need to eventually get all of them anyway for uh, items that I have on down the line. We didn't have anything else to get, so 
Um, matter of fact, did, was there anything else I need to talk to Dudley for? If you don't mind, I would like I must try the shoes I ordered. Don't interrupt me again. If you know what's good for you. Yeah, I don't know why he was so hostile. Ho uh, like, I just, it really didn't make sense to be that hostile uh, towards them. All they did was ask a, a single question about the damn shoes. They didn't even really ask a question when you really think about it. Okay, so I need 70,000 to get both those master courts. Eesh. We got most of these. Everything else is going to be cosmetic. But at the same time, at the same point, we still need to start knocking out some of these. Money is so tight in this game, though. Didn't plan on that. Like, I feel like you got money not easy, but you got it at a better rate in the other games. All right. So first thing we're going to do, um, I didn't mean to come into the video uh, talking to Dudley. The first thing we're going to do is going to come feed the cat. Uh, I went back and called some more of the queen crab. This is what we're going to give him. Because if you give him a queen crab, he comes back. With an attack three. That's what we wanted. Oh my. Are you giving this to me? Thanks, Coat. Is it cop? Cop? We'll say cop. We'll make sure to put it to good use. I always... I never remember how to pronounce this damn cat's name. I, I'm going to give this... I was going to give it to Randy. Randy's attack is pretty high. I'm going to give it to Noel. Uh... Preferably... Oh, shoot. Alright. Yeah, that's the only spot she has that enhance. Alright. Um, next thing we're going to do. I just wanted to get her attack up. That should put her a little bit close to 800. Yeah. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to finally go over here uh, to Kia's room. And you get to finally see um, the stuffed animal that we, the stuffed stuff we got her. I've got a stuffed plush here uh, that Kia would probably love to bits. I think I'll go and give it to her. Boy, well, look for Kia and gave her the stuffed plush as a gift. <laughs> You're very welcome. I think we're done. And there's a tomato one, yeah, that we got her. And we get our scene finally. Do you have a moment, Kia? Oh yeah, Lloyd. It's okay. Whoa, you didn't waste any time giving those flushes at a home, huh? It really is a sight to behold. Aren't they all super cute? <laughs> oh, one more thing though. <laughs> this one's not actually a plush. The manual says it's a costume that you're supposed to wear. A costume? Like for a mascot? I could see, I could see someone your size fitting inside it actually. Really? And want to help me put it on? Sure, but just so you know, it's going to be hot in there. I've read that these things can get real stuffy real fast. Oh, I'll be okay, probably. <laughs> Besides, I need you to see how it looks on me. Well, okay. If she's just daring now, I can only imagine the antics she'll get into when she's my age. That's funny. And we're set. How's it, Kia? Comfortable? Yep, I'm totally fine. It's kind of nice and cool in here, actually. Huh? Really? Guess they must have put in a lot of work to uh, into the ventilation. 
<laughs> Whoa. Wow, it's even cuter than I ever could have imagined. You mean it? <laughs> Penguin kill. <laughs> it's too much. My heart can't take it. Are you there, Lloyd? Oh, God. <laughs> it takes so long to come down uh, that we came to get you. Oh, yeah. Sorry to keep you guys. Uh, fair warning. Don't step aside unless you're ready for an adorable, adorable overdose. An adorable overdose? What in the world are you? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Render speechless. <laughs> Well, uh, looky here. It's Ellie and Tio. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> what? What? This is a cold friend. <laughs> they knocked his ass off the way. <laughs> cold red for cutie alert. It's so cuddly cute. <laughs> oh boy. What we have here should be inconceivable on this plane of existence. No Epstein Foundation lab could ever hold to reproduce this level of pure, unfiltered adorability. Ellie, Tio, I can't breathe. <laughs> I can only take so many hugs. What's all the ruckus up to here? <laughs> Holy mother of angels. <laughs> Is that cute? Oh, I want a hugger. Make room. Make room. <laughs> <laughs> what getting kicked out of the way? I didn't expect to walk in on a crime scene. <laughs> Multiple victims, cause of death, cuteness overload. Imagine having a lethal weapon like her on the battlefield. She could end wars as quickly as she started them. That's true. I think if you take her and put her in the middle of a battle doing that. <laughs> you would have so many people sitting there like, damn, you know what? I can't, I don't really feel like fighting today. That might be more true than we realize. She said, I surrender. Can you guys let go of me now? Well, you did it to yourself. After a while, the girls finally regained their senses. And definite ban was placed on Kia's penguin. <laughs> An indefinite ban. Oh boy. Uh, an indefinite ban was placed on uh, Penguin Kia for the safety of everyone in the building. Lest they fall victim to her indomitable, indomitable cuteness. I'm done, bro. All right. <laughs> that was something, boy. <laughs> Too damn funny. All right. Let's get out of here. Um, I think. We done everybody's, huh? Yeah, I think Randy. I think Wally. I think that was everybody. I think he was the was the last one. Let me double check. Oh, if you want to check your bonds down here at the bottom. Uh, Tio, Randy's good. Noel is getting there. Wazi's almost there. Risha's halfway there. Dudley's close. And for the other people, it's close. Huh. I really thought that I was closer uh, with Tio. But we did get Tio back late. And Noel. Hmm. We shall see. All right. Starting off Central Square, um, yeah, you want to go talk to Dudley. And you want to head to the administrative district. Sorry about that. I blew up time on that. Uh, where is Zakia? There she is. Oh, hey, guys. Getting some reading done, Kia? Sure am. I'm looking for something to cheer Shizuku up with my next visit. I'm still deciding what book to bring, though. This one's pretty interesting so far. So far? But wait. 
That's from the Braille corner, isn't it? Kia, can you read Braille? Yep. Is that a big deal? A big deal? Someone help me out. Because I don't even know where to begin with this one. Did they teach you that in Sunday school? Nope. I picked it up while hanging out with Shizuku. Did you know that the Mark of the Witch of the Deep Forest has a Braille version too? It made it a lot easier to pick up. I get that reading. Uh, I get that reading a book you're already familiar with would help, but still, uncanny comprehension skills are hardly out of the ordinary for our Kia. Well, that's Kia's power. Like, um, she's able to learn stuff fairly quickly, stuff that she shouldn't be able to learn as quick as she has, but that's her thing. Um, okay, let's head down to the downtown district. Not many places to visit here. We're going to just keep it simple. Um, is it this dude? Yeah. Ashley ordered a glass. Uh, ordered a glass after a glass of my special cocktail. She said that when you get past the taste and appearance, they'd be perfect for the battlefield. Wait, that is a compliment, right? Anyway... She definitely gave them her stamp of approval. Uh, I don't think that's her stamp of approval, but here, you can try some too. All right, we get brown liquid from him. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. Maybe an attack thing. <laughs> All right, now we head to... Nope. Let's go to the garage. Yes. I would ask that kid what he's doing there, but I'm going to leave it alone for right now. Alright, go to Bell Guard Gate. I'm going to head to the roof. Let's see if we talk to Murray. Ah, hello SSS. You didn't happen to run into anything unusual on the way here, did you? Unusual how? Nothing seem out of the ordinary, as far as I can tell. Is that right? I suppose they won't be showing up today. Uh, today then. In a way, that's almost a relief. Forget I said anything. It's just some work-related business. I might put in a request for all of you in the future. So I'd appreciate if you heard me out when the time comes. I don't know what's up with you. But sure. Uh, uh, you know you can hit us up whenever. Thanks. I'll hold you to that. She must be like fighting her parents or something, I guess. Crap, I think we got off a little too early. Yep, we did. <clears throat> um, I think it's her. Yeah, talk to this lady right here. Rue gifted me this book to read on my breaks. I enjoyed it quite a bit, so maybe you should too. All right, that's a chapter eight of the Sunshine Agnes. Make sure you get that. And now, uh, I think uh, we have to head to St. Ursula. That event, that event with Kia in the library that raises her bonding points, so make sure you do that. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me double check that, because she is close. Yep, you only got one more heart to go. One more little bonding, full bonding point. Alright, and here we go with Aeolia and Lynn. Oh, hello there, SSS. Lynn, Aeolia. What brings you to St. Ursula today? Another brace of requests, perhaps? We're taking a little breather and doing some prep work before we get back to investigating the cryptids. The plan is to check out the sandbar on St. Ursula, I mean, on Ursula Road, where you exterminated the one from yesterday. We're hoping to find some sort of link between the cryptids and that Paroma grass you mentioned in your report. Oh, and Arios is back at work, back to work, just so you know. 
He'll be handling that last cryptid that was assigned to the guild. All by himself, huh? Anything we can do to lend a hand? Oh, I think we have it under control. Although, I could use some hugs and kisses from Teal to perk me up in case we run into any more trouble. <laughs> you will survive. <laughs> so cruel. I'd be more concerned uh, for her if she didn't act this way. In other words, there's nothing to worry about. We can take care of ourselves. You guys just keep doing uh, what you're doing on your end. Got it. Good luck to you too. <laughs> well, that lady right there don't be sparing shit, do she? <laughs> She's like, I just want to know if Ki if I can get some kisses and hugs from Tio, because you know I like Tio and want to do some things to her. Tio be like, nah, don't swing that way, chica. All right, so we head to Shizuku's room. And check on Shizuku. Hi, Cecile. Good morning, SSS. Well, hello there, Lloyd. What brings all of you here? Did you want to pay Shizuku a visit? Yes, we did. We're not interrupting, though, are we? Oh, no, not at all. I just came to tell her that Michael sent her a letter from Le Mans State. I was going to ask if she wanted me to read it. Did you say Michael? Isn't that the boy Dr. Stalin operated on? Yes, he was also staying on this floor, so the two of us became good friends. We promised to exchange letters with the, uh, one another when he left the hospital. From regular pals to pen pals, eh? It's not uncommon for St. Ursula to receive letters from former patients like this. Sadly, it isn't easy finding the time to respond, uh, what with the sheer volume of our workloads. Still, it's nice to hear from them. Knowing that someone I cared for is leading a happy, healthy life never fails to give me uh, the boost of energy. That sounds like you, Cecile. I bet, um, I'm, I bet you put a lot of love and care into every reply you make. Perhaps I should begin writing letters to Martha as well. I'm sure she'd like that. She was so happy after seeing you for the first time in years. It's never too late. You're always welcome to give it a shot. I will consider it once our work slows down. I'm just writing a damn letter. Come on, Tio. All right, so that actually um, uh, gives some bonding to Cecile. So I'm checking this again because Cecile and everybody else is all tied together. I didn't really move the needle that much. But you do get bonding points for doing that. All right, I think uh, I think we're done, huh? For the most part, with everything else. Oh, you know what? Let me. Go right over here to this boathouse. And grab this other grass. If they'll let me grab it. No, they won't let you do it. It's like they forgot about it. And like, why would they forget that grass? They know that that's a part of it. But, you know, it's got to be there for story purposes, I guess. But why would they forget all about that damn grass? Like, hey, what about that other spot? Did we get that grass over there? Like, no, we didn't get it. <laughs> it's like, ah, <laughs> we're all in trouble. All right, let's uh, head to the uh, West Crossbell Highway. We got a monster to kill out here. Um, I don't think it's far, too far away. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely somebody in the party that's attracting it. You know what? I get it. They're scared of Lloyd, but Ellie has the scent quartz. 
I forget about that. So when you turn your back, see, it's confused. It's like, I want to attack because she has the scent cords, but I'm scared of Lloyd and the crew. Um, I thought this thing was going to be a lot closer to that. It is on West Crossbell Highway. This is why it sucks to take Wazi out. I want to make another one of those um, quartz really bad the with the eagle eye and stuff on it. But the problem is that... What the hell is that to? Oh, okay. That area. Yeah, the problem with it is that... Um, looking at everybody's stuff having them the way i want to have them i can't think of a reason to uh to give another one to somebody else what is that okay there it is over there okay Sheesh. All right. Pop a save right here really quick before facing this thing. Doesn't look like it should be too much trouble. Triggers earthquakes when attacked. Mmm. Shit. I wonder if that's attacked or hit with arts. Test that theory. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off real quick. I want to test something. Ah, damn! It takes forever to get an attack off. I probably should have definitely did one of the magic users. Yeah, so it must be all arts. Yeah, because it's not as in counter attack. I'm trying to see if it does, but. Yeah, I don't know about that, bro. Um. Yeah, we're going to cancel it and just keep hitting them with the arts right now. That's not too bad. Oh, it does. It responds both ways. Damn. All right. Well, we don't have much of a choice. Let's just uh, fucking go after him. 
I thought it, it, it only responded to uh, get with the earthquake by being attacked. Like physically, but doesn't matter either way. I think I don't, I don't think I ever really um, use this one. It's gonna hurt either way. Yep, that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Was the, everybody using Earth the earthquake all at once? Uh, I really don't want to burn through using all my stuff. I really don't. I'm willing to just let them kill everybody. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, at least I know now. Yeah, just kill everybody off. And that way from jump, we just go right after their asses. Everybody. The best thing with them is just seems like just don't give them a chance. Cause if so, they're just gonna hurt everybody with every attack that they do. Screamed it loud as hell that time. Alright. A craft book. This one looks like it suits Randy and Wazzy style. Good stuff. Wanna give it a shot, Wazzy? I'm game if you are. Last Rebellion, okay? Um, okay, I did scan it. That's right. All right. My apologies for that first L I took on that. I, I didn't know if it uh, meant that I uh, could just attack him. And not have to worry about the Earthshaker thing. I, Earthshaker is a nasty magic that um, usually the worms can do. The little uh, big giant earthworms, whatever the hell they are. They do it in retaliation to you uh, attacking them, though. <coughs> Man, jeez. Ugh. Uh, I'm trying to think where else do we need to, do we have anything else we want to go here? Or, no, yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. Okay, alright, uh... 
I guess we'll go ahead and do the Michelin thing. Head to the harbor. I came out here once and they kind of let you know you can go to Michelin. Um, and you can pick your time when you want to go. Uh, but yeah, I'll do it now. I say always make a save for doing this stuff. You never, especially when you're in the area. All right. Calling all pastures and Michelin. All right. Now we can. Wait. Can we leave now? What the hell? Uh wait. <laughs> I'm like the fuck. Uh that's where I am standing. This lady won't let me get on the damn boat. Okay, top, oh, so hit the sign over here, said the lady. Alright. <laughs> I was like, what the hell's happening? <coughs> Man. Alright, so we're heading to Missing Wonderland. After arriving, they made their way to the front gates of the theme park where the client was waiting. What a pickle. This is liable to throw off the entire morning schedule. Um, excuse us. We're the C uh we're with the CPD special support section. Would you happen to be Hanks? We're here for the request you submitted. Oh, that's right. So you're the SSS. Let's see. Hmm. Yes, I think you'll be a perfect fit. No sizing adjustments necessary. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, sizing adjustments. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Would you mind explaining your request? Oh, how careless of me. My apologies. I'm sure you're all familiar with our parts mascot, Mishi. Yes. Oh, God. No breathing soul. <laughs> Good no more. Teotot here is a bit, has a bit of an obsession. But yeah, we know of him. Hard to live in Crossbell too long without seeing the fluff ball around. Does Mishi have something to do with your request? It just so happens that it does. The thing is, we received some bad news this morning. Oh boy, the actor who's portrayed Mishi since the park opened, well, he told us he wasn't going to make it. Make it? Wait, you don't mean... Oh goodness. No, nothing that dire. Just a sudden case of an upset stomach. The plan is for him to get some medicine at St. Ursula and return to work as soon as he's able. If all goes well, he'll be back in action as early as this afternoon. Still, that leaves the problem of the morning performance. That's where you come in. I need someone to don the fur and be Mishi stand-in for a few hours. Mishi stand-in? Hey, that sounds pretty fun. Alright, where do I get changed? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. You're far too tall to fit into the costume. That, that Talk, that costume was pretty big. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. So, on the other hand, I think your power here uh, with the over, over, overly serious. I can't even get it out because it's just hilarious. With the overly serious expression would be perfect. Me? Oh, come on. I was going to use that kitty suit as a free pass to pick up chicks. Damn you, Lloyd. How's that my fault? It's probably for the best. Otherwise... Randy would have been uh, give uh, would have given catfishing a whole new meaning. So back to the matter at hand. Do you think you can do it? Well, we didn't come all this way for nothing. We'll take the job. This is hilarious. I owe you one. Now then, if there's nothing more to cover, let's. <laughs> she finna head. She finna go out of her mind. Tio, is there something wrong? You've been very quiet these past few minutes. Costume, actor, upset stomach, medicine. <laughs> What's got into her? 
pulling back the curtain might have been more than she could handle. I'll be very careful with the next words you say. I'll do what I can. Hey, uh, Tio. No need. Uh, no need to mind me. She needs us. I will make sure to contribute as actively as I can. I thought she was going to be like, what? I thought she thought, like, Missy was real some shit. She, she's crazy as hell. That's the spirit, Teal Tap. I don't know if I like the way she phrased that. Is she really doing okay? Everything settled? Good. Now she'll just follow me into the locker room. Sure, lead the way. <laughs> this is funny as shit, man. <laughs> well, how do I look? <laughs> Adorable, actually. Yeah, it really screams you. <laughs> in what way? It's a full body suit, Noel. So you comfortable in there? Looks like it could get pretty toasty. I'm sure it will. It's not the most breathable outfit I've ever worn, to say the least. Luckily, the height is right. Uh, it feels a bit loose, though. So it's a little weird to move in. Don't sweat the small stuff. You're going to be doing enough sweating in the costume as it is. But man, is it going to be worth it? Mishi fangirls fawning over you, putting your arms around them with no hangups. <laughs> I'd have plenty of hangups with, uh, with that for your information. So speaking of fangirls, where did Tio run off to? Now that you mention it, I saw her catch the staff member's attention before walking away with them. Ta-da! Oh boy. Is she coming there? Is she coming in there as me? She oh I kinda felt she was gonna do it. What the is that you, Tio? Oh my god. It's me, Michette. Don't tell me my own my own older brother forgot my face. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my goodness. You look so cute, Tio. Isn't this character the one who likes to play hide and seek? Yes, I am Mishi's little sister, Michette. She is a life, uh, self, I'm sorry, lifeless. I was a lifeless. <laughs> She's a selfless girl who is always looking out for her clumsy oath of an older brother with judgmental eyes. Judgmental? <laughs> right, yeah. We met her uh, the last time we came to the park. She came up to me asking if uh, she could help by playing the part of Michette. Technically, the regular Michette shift doesn't start until later, so I thought, what the heck. So, that's where she went. Wait, if I help you out, do you mean... Yes, my intention is to supervise a uh, Lois Michi routine. <laughs> Rest assured, his shins will rule every blunder he makes. <laughs> oh, the brutal bars of tough love. What an adoring little sister you have, Michi. I just wish my shins got to say in it. Wait, shouldn't you be the one giving me acting directions? Sorry, but we don't have, uh, we won't have a chance. It's almost time for Mishi to start touring his way around the park. Listen, just ask yourself, what would Mishi do? And go from there. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll all work out. That's the worst advice ever. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Remember that at uh, the end of your morning tour, you're scheduled to do the Mishi dance in the main plaza. <laughs> that one I did prepare a manual for. Skim it and remember what you can. God, this is just... Lloyd in the group, read the manual. Dance with passion and pizzazz. Don't forget to close the show with the Mishi signature catchphrase. Let's dance and make a wishy with Mishi. <laughs> well, that's helpful. The catchphrase, I get it. I mean, the catchphrase I get, but this passion and pizzazz part is a little vague. To tell you the truth, we generally leave Mishi's characterization uh, with the patrons up to the actor. For the entire history of this park, we've never even uh, needed a written manual until today, that is. So if you make a mistake, you make a mistake. Uh, don't let it get you down too much. On the contrary, as the one supervising, I would not toler even tolerate a single error. I'm getting conflicting signals here. <laughs> Whoops, it's showtime. Let's wrap this up so we can get out of here. Oh man, 
All right. The rest of us will uh, pass the time patrolling the park then. Break a leg, you two. The time has come to prove yourself, Lloyd. Yeah, no pressure. I don't know how I'm going to pull this one off. I guess I'll have to uh, channel my inner Nishi. There's also the catchphrase, let's dance and make a wishy with Nishi. I better not forget it. All right, get out there and make sure those kids' wishes come true. I'm counting on you, Nishi. You too, Michette. Ah, uh, boy, here we go. Well, here goes nothing. I just hope this all works out. Look sharp. Here comes our first patron. <laughs> wow, it's Mishi. Mom, Dad, look. He's really here. Well, so he is. How about that? Settle down, sweetie. <laughs> you wouldn't want to tire yourself out before we get to the attraction. Yay, Mishi, Mishi, Mishi. <laughs> oh, boy. Let me think. How would Mishi normally respond in a situation like this? Alright, we're gonna go with a... Have a... Me... Me... He magical time. I will... I will. Thanks, Mishi. Come on, Mom. Come on, Dad. Let's hurry and go in. Alright. Now, now. No need to rush. We have an entire day of fun ahead of us. This is fucking hilarious. And just... Honestly. Did I do okay? Very much so, Lloyd. Your me he he I mean your me he was particularly inspired. Thanks. So I can't say it's easy to say without getting embarrassed. Me he <laughs> she she's just laying it on, man. You get used to it. Wow, Tio, you're a pro already. That was surprisingly cute coming from her. Keep up the good work. Hey, Noel. Wazzy. Well, if it isn't the special sports sessions, dynamic sibling duo. Thank goodness you're here, Lloyd. I have an urgent progress report to make. Every time I take my eyes off Wazzy, he runs off uh, to get on the ride. <laughs> oh, don't be such a cop. It's not like I'm going to burn the park down. We're still making our rounds, aren't we? What's the harm in living a little bit? <laughs> uh, get a li uh, sorry, what's, what's wrong with having a little bit of fun along the way? I don't know where the hell I got living from. Wazzy, we are the cops, not to mention on duty. Speaking of duty, you have a pair of children approaching your uh, on your nine. It's Misha. Oh, look, Michette's here, too. My hide and seek skills need refining. Super kick. Wait, no. <laughs> Hold on a sec. You can't just assault Mishi. Why would you even do that? What? Did nobody ever tell you kicking Mishi brings you good, uh, good luck? Everyone knows his sword in his butt. <laughs> That's why you gotta boot, boot it all out. What genius started this stuff anyway? Do you think it works the same with Michette too? I need to do something. How would Mishi deal with this? Well, yeah, he wouldn't scold them. <laughs> Mishi has a way of defending himself from kicks. It's this. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Okay, they laughed. <laughs> wow. It's Mishi's famous uh, Mishi... Mishi Gichi Goo attack? The fuck? Run away. <laughs> Mishi Gichi Goo? That'll show him. I didn't realize playing Kick the Mascot was going to be a part of this job, too. Well, you should have. That's been one of the park's recent fads. Well, them's the bricks. For the record, I did try to help. And did I handle that okay, though? I was just making it up as I went along. It was fine. What you did was more preferable than losing your temper with them. Mishi is a kind and gentle being. Driving children away by force would have been un unacceptable. Your judgment served you well, Lloyd. Thanks, I try. 
I'm just glad they didn't end up kicking Teal too. Thanks to Lloyd's dash and rescue, of course. Perhaps we should add Sister Complex to his rapidly expanding list of fifties. <laughs> Mishi and Michette are the siblings here, not us. Incidentally, my research indicated that Mishi's posterior is resistant to strikes and impacts. It hurt less than you expected, no? Hey, yeah, you're right. They must have put extra padding in the costume. I wonder it's so much thicker uh, down there. Ah, right, look at the time. We should make our way to the next area, Lloyd. Remember, uh, to keep in mind how tight your morning schedule is. Right, I won't. See you later, guys. Knock them dead, Lloyd. You too, Tio. All right, back to sneaking on rides for me. <laughs> Oh, hey guys. Nice hustle out there, Superstar. You two look like you've had a hard day at work. How would you say it's been going so far? It's a, a little harder than I imagined. This costume gets toasty like you wouldn't believe. Need I remind you, Lloyd? This is a, not a pleasant stroll we're taking around the park now. You have to act as friendly as possible while simultaneously making the park guests feel lucky just uh, to have seen you. Right, I'll try my best. There's no room for error with T.O. when it comes to Mishi, uh, when Mishi comes in the picture, is there? Do what you can to keep it up, Lloyd, or else T.O. Tot's gonna have you strung up to try in front of the horror coaster. Boy, boy, boy. Oh, look, it's Mishi. There they come. Hey, you're right. Lucky us running into him two steps off the Ferris wheel. Aw, oh, he's so cute. We just have to get a photo with him. Sure thing. Let's do it. Excuse me. Who do you think you could take a picture for us? I'd love to. Okay, I guess we just gotta pose for a picture. A picture? Okay, stay calm. What will Mishi do in this situation? Uh, yeah, you wanna stand between them? This is gonna go down as uh, the day we finally met Mishi. Okay, smile for the camera. Everyone all ready? Say cheese. Thanks for all the help. Yeah, what she said. You're welcome. Here you are. Did I do okay? That was perfect, Lloyd. As a living symbol of the theme part, Mishi is, and in and of itself, the walking attraction. Crap. Man. Knowing that, the impartial course of action in cases like these is to stand directly between guests. It makes me proud to see you adapting so quickly to the ways of the Michelinite. <laughs> I'm honored, I think. Well, as long as you have uh, Teal with you, I think you'll be fine. Good luck to uh, you two. We'll be keeping an eye out. Yeah, <laughs> you have fun on your date and we'll have fun on ours. No, we will not. Eesh. At least let me buy you a Bell Cola before you shut me down. Okay then. Let's try not to let them or anyone else get us down. Yes, off to the next location. Sorry for the delay, everyone. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Mishi and Michette are going to do this Mishi dance. Yay, Mishi. <laughs> They're so cute. Here we go, the dance routine. I'm starting to tense up. It should be fine. The Mishi dance is usually improvised anyway. There are some guidelines, but I'm sure you uh, you will manage to. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sure you will manage if you use common sense. Guidelines, huh? That's right. They gave us a manual about it before the job. If I could just recall what it said. Okay, everyone, all together now. Mishi and Michette, bring it home. Here we go. Are you ready, Tio? Remember, dance with passion and pizzazz. Roger. <laughs> Hilarious. 
<laughs> now for Mitchie's catchphrase. <laughs> oh my god, man. Let's dance and make a wishy with Mishi. Let's dance and make a wishy with Mishi. I knew you could do it, Lloyd. You have attained total Mishlimus. <laughs> oh my god, man. Lloyd and T.O.'s passionate dance brought the show to a successful close. Having fulfilled his role to perfection, Lloyd held his head high with knowing he was able to make the, the, uh, the park visitors' wishes come true. Once things finished winding down, the two substitute mascots made their way to the rest area. Boy, this shit is hilarious. I think we managed to pull that one off. Well done. Dancing uh, in a mascot costume is a lot more daunting than I realized. You can say that again. I'm burning up in here. <clears throat> How does the uh, usual guy uh, do this every day? He must be made of some real stern stuff. I would imagine so. Hey, Mishi. Michette. Oh, it's you. It's, it's you, Mr. Hanks. Great job out there, kids. You did great. Michelle's been uh, all anybody's been talking about today. The park guests couldn't get enough of her. Of me? Really? Yep. They said the whole cool and aloof stick Mishi would uh, lapse into around uh, Mishi. I'm sorry, Michette before. Uh, Mishi drove them wild. Maybe this is a sign that we should sit down and rethink Michette's ca entire character. Huh? Fancy that. I am happy to be of service. Incidentally, have you heard back from the usual actor? Oh, I almost forgot. He just came in a little while ago. He said that he wanted to meet you. You should find him uh, waiting in the locker room when you get back. And thanks again for all your help. It's not much, but I hope you accept this. Alright, got a Michette plush. We'd be happy uh, to uh, thank you. I mean, we have to thank you, Mr. Hanks. Ready to head back inside, Tio? Yes, let's. She still got the costume on. Michette mode, disengage. <laughs> I am drenched in sweat. I think that was the most effort you've ever given on a support request. Of course it was. You did good out there, Tio. <clears throat> Perhaps, but your mihi mimicry. <laughs> well, man, was exceptionally superb, Lloyd. It was an honor and a privilege to share the Mishi dance with you. Come on, you're going to make me blush. Anyway, I think it's just about time we rejoin the others. Is the usual actor, uh, Mishi actor, still not here yet? Not that I've seen. He appears to be running late. Sorry to keep your kids waiting. Uh, he burnt. <laughs> Excuse me for that. Better out than in, though. <laughs> Turns out the pills I've been taking don't work unless I have them after a meal. Skip breakfast, too. So I wound up wolfing down a lunch like you wouldn't believe. Anyhow, is my costume in that locker? Never meet your heroes, man. <laughs> What's with the looks? You ain't never seen a professional mascot before? Come to think of it, I feel like you uh, recognize your faces from somewhere or other. Well, whatever. Oh, you kids big time. Can't have Mission Wonderland with no Mishi after all. Nice work filling in for me, boyo. Whoops, would you look at the time? Gotta get changed and prep for the afternoon shift. <laughs> Transformation complete. Thanks again, mister. You too, little missy. You really saved my fur. You could just leave the rest uh, to me. Me he he. See you later. <laughs>